morning friends, Nettie here from Nettie Gaming. Um, sorry it's taken so long to do this video. This video is how do we add games to the Amiga. Um, apologies, I know I did say I was going to do it a couple of weeks ago and I've been really busy with work. I don't actually, um, you know, this, is, this isn't my day job, I'm actually a mortgage advisor and I, I tend to work sometimes six, sometimes seven days a week so the weeks and weeks roll by and I just don't get a chance so apologies on that front but um, I'm, I've put together this little video now um, just to show you how you do it and how you add games but before we get into it I'm going to have a little moan because I know a lot of people have been commenting about the um, oh it's not working I'm getting a floppy disk and this and that and the other At the very beginning of my video I said it's really important to remember that you select the configuration and you make sure it's loaded and as long as you followed my video to the letter you should have no problem with it now when you load this up like I say it's vanilla settings so make sure that you click this part here and you hit load if you hit save you're going to wipe all your configuration so make sure you haven't done that um, and you know that all your paths are there everything is as you set it when we did the original setup and if you do that then your hard disk file will appear now make sure as well when you are setting up that hard file when you put your directory in it's dh1 and you make sure that bootable is ticked and then if it is set as ide auto um, there should be no no reason why that shouldn't work for you if you are seeing the floppy screen it's because you haven't loaded in your configuration so just to give you an example if i hit start now I'm just getting the purple screen and that means that I haven't loaded in the hard disk file I haven't loaded in my settings so make sure that you click that you hit load it restarts and then you hit start and that's it there, there should be absolutely no reason why that shouldn't work for you so make sure you're doing that and make sure you're listening to what I'm telling you right anyway lecture over because I did promise I would do this video and I, I've waffled on a little bit too much now so Basically, what we do, uh, I'll come out of here now, you want to make sure when you are transferring files that you do quit out and you close it down completely, otherwise it'll crash. But what you want to do is create a work folder, an empty work folder on your desktop um, so you know where to find it. Now, I've put a little link to the um, files that I've got for all the games and demos that I think are in existence, though if you do... Um, want to actually you know check it out straight from the horse's mouth if you go to WHD load um, and you go to their website WHD load you will find that they're pretty much all there and there's I think a little forum where you can go check it out and, and find out a little bit more information please don't ask me how you do this that and other I don't know everything about every single Amiga game I've just got a vague well, I say the blind leads in the blind. I've got a rough understanding of WinUAE and how it works. But basically, you download that, unzip it, and you'll have two folders. You'll have the Amiga Games folder and the Amiga Demos folder. And as you can see, there's two and a half thousand in there. And I didn't want to set each one up manually because that would take forever. But if there is one in there that you want to load up, um, then you know you can do you can do that individually. Don't get me wrong, you can you can set them all up like that if you wanted it'll just it'll take forever but as I say what we'll do is we'll open up our work folder and I want the BC kid game I'm going to do that one just to show you so if I copy it and put it into there you can cut and paste don't matter and then what we want to do is extract here now once we've done that you'll see we've got the info file and we've got the folder as well so if I delete that that's what we're left with okay so let's go back into our WinUAE folder and click on WinUAE, click configuration, click load. <laughs> and then go into your hard drive. Now you'll see I've already put a work folder here, so let me remove it and I'll show you how to add your directory. And we'll call this DH1. Oops. We'll call it dh1 and we'll call it work bootable unticked let's find our work folder and hit ok and then what we'll do is we'll click our configuration and hit save as 
she says. Yep. And then hit OK. There we go. Now we've got a work folder and you can see BC Kid is in there. Good stuff. Now you can move it and transfer it manually but we need the info file as well so if you hit run and then hit directory opus what we want to do is select our games folder where all our games are stored so if you go dh1 and hit games you'll see those are all the games that we currently have in the system so if we click on the other side and we right click on the s and we click our work folder you'll see there's our b key a BC Kid file with the info file. So if you click those, double click them, and then we hit move, that'll move them across into our games folder. So we can come out of directory opus now and quit out. And we now need to rescan on WHD load. So if we hit WHD load, hit I game, and then we right click on the bar at the top and we hit scan, this will scan. And it should find BC Kid for us now. Okay, so if I put in BC Kid, she says, <laughs> don't work. There it is, B.C.Kid. There we go. So I click on that. F10 to quit. Brilliant. Windows. Yep. I'm pretty pants when it comes to sort of random games and things like that. So, um, but any questions that you've got in relation to the Win UAE, please give me a shout up. As I say, I'll um, I'll do my best to help whatever way I can. But just um, please, please listen to me when I say <laughs> that if it's got the floppy disk on, you haven't loaded it incorrectly. So make sure you load and then you start. Anyway, lecture over. Um, but that's it, guys. Um, if you do need anything else, give us a shout up. But uh, have a good one. Happy gaming. And I'll uh, speak to you all soon. Do take care. Bye.